In this video, you will learn how to import scans, prepare scans by virtually removing teeth, and also how to design virtual crowns for prosthetic-driven implant planning in Implant Studio. To import surface scans, click Import Lower, Upper Surface Scan, and find the correct STL or 3 shape DCM file in the folder where the scans have been saved. To import the CT scan, click Import Head CT Scan and select only one of the DICOM files in the folder. This will automatically import the full CT scan. Implant Studio supports all open DICOM file formats, which comply with the three-shape DICOM conformance statement found on our website. If a DICOM file fails to load, please refer to the conformance statement or alternatively contact your CT manufacturer for clarification. Review the head CT scan by using the sliders and click Select to confirm that this is the scan you want to work with. It is optional to import the antagonist scan. Once the scans are imported, you will move directly to the anatomy design step by clicking Next. From here, you can virtually remove teeth from the scan. Click on the green plus to add patch and define the outline of the tooth which should be removed from the scan. If needed, click on the green plus again to define a new outline for another tooth you wish to remove. To remove a patch, click on the minus icon which will remove the active patch. You can remove all patches by clicking on the red cross symbol which will clear all patches. Click Next to proceed to the anatomy design step. The anatomy design step allows you to design virtual crowns, which can be helpful in order to drive the implant treatment planning prosthetically. Click the Choose Smile Library icon to select the desired tooth anatomy and place it on the surface scan. To change the shape of the crown, you can select another library. You can also choose to copy a tooth, if the existing anatomy is suitable. Click on the Copy icon, then click on the occlusal side of the tooth you wish to copy. The software will design the virtual crown based on the tooth you chose. You can adjust the crown if needed. To modify the crown shape or position, use the Transform tool, which is selected by default once the crown has been placed. Use the control handles to adjust the size of the crown or its position in any direction. To make adjustments to the tooth anatomy, click the Morph tool. Here you can adjust the size of the area on the crown you wish to influence by holding down Shift and then using the mouse wheel to scroll. Click and move the mouse on the surface of the tooth to modify it. You can also use the Wax Knife tool to add or remove material or to smoothen the crown surface. Use the Contacts tool to correct the occlusal contact by cutting the restoration to the antagonist. Set the occlusal space you want and click the Play button to apply it. You also have the possibility to use the Virtual Articulator to simulate dynamic articulation of the jaws and its effects on the design. Run the Virtual Articulation by pressing the Play button. After that, you can adapt your design by pressing the green play button next to Adapt Design. Once you have finished designing the crowns, you can proceed to the cropping step by clicking Next. You have now learned how to import scans, prepare scans, and how to design virtual crowns for prosthetic-driven implant treatment planning. In order to explore the full implant planning and surgical guide design workflow, please watch the next video in the series. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.